Hey everyone. Okay, here it is. Um, we're going to be talking about powder, loose powder, pressed powder, whatever, and how to apply it. Because I mentioned in a previous video that um, powder brushes like these are actually meant for knocking powder off the skin, and they really are. But you can apply powder with a powder brush, but I would estimate that almost all of you are doing it wrong. So before we talk about how to really use the brush, let me just share, say, because I did say that powder brushes are used to knock off powder. Now, most makeup artists use Vela Puffs, like these, okay? Or black ones like this, whatever. They're all the same thing. Now, if you're gonna powder your face, using a puff is really the best way. There are two ways to do it, okay? The first way is to get some loose powder, whatever, and you quite literally just press the puff into the powder, and then what you do, on a clean hand is you just knock off all the excess and then with your finger you roll it around your finger like this and you press and roll into the skin you don't do that because all that foundation concealer whatever is just going to slide you press and roll it into the skin and it pushes the powder into the skin and seals it and it gives you an amazing finish the other way to apply loose powder is to basically tip some loose powder into your powder puff and then you press it together like this and you roll it like this and it ingrains it into the puff okay and then you kind of just give it a flick to knock off anything else same principle you press and roll and when you do this technique sometimes you can be left with a little too much powder because most people are heavy-handed with it this is where your powder brush comes in your powder brush is then used to just gently flick and knock off all the excess powder. And that is how you would use a powder brush, but there's another way. The majority of people apply their foundation and concealer. They then dip a powder brush into powder, knock it off, and they do this, right? And you know that you're doing that, so don't pretend that you're not, you know you're doing that. And the problem with that is, I don't know if any of you have experienced this, but I bet you have. You've got red cheeks, right? There's broken capillaries, there's a whatever and you put your foundation on and it's covered them. You then dip your powder and you do this and suddenly the redness has come back through again because you're knocking the foundation, you're moving the foundation when you're doing that. So how to use a powder brush, the second method, bear in mind that I prefer the first one with a puff and then you knock it off because it's already been pushed in. You get your powder brush, you apply powder to your brush, just give it a tap, then you take the powder brush and you just do this. You place it on the skin and you roll it. You place it on the skin and you roll it. This is how you apply powder because it doesn't disrupt, it doesn't move, it doesn't alter the foundation like doing this would. You are literally just getting some powder, you're knocking it off, and then you press like this. You never do that. You only do that once the powder's been locked in with a puff. Otherwise, just do this and I promise you, you'll see a big difference in how your skin looks in terms of being polished and all those kind of things. So just one last time, you take the powder and you just slightly rotate the brush and you do that all over your face or wherever you want to powder and that is how you use a powder brush. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.